Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel PowerPoint University. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to create opening slide in PowerPoint. Opening slide is a very important slide in PowerPoint to capture the audience attention. So let's start. Add a new slide and zoom out to 10%. Go to insert shapes and select a right triangle. Remove the outline and rotate vertical, horizontal and then rotate vertical. I'm sorry for that. And right mouse click, go to format shape and use a gradient fill. I'm going to use two stops. Delete the two stops and keep only two. The first one I'm just going to give some different color, maybe a purple. And the second one I'm just going to give some uh, maybe a pink color. You can adjust the stop and give some transparency effect. And cover the triangle for the whole slide. The whole slide should be covered. Go to animation, animation pane, enable it and add animation. Scroll it down and select line and adjust it and make it up the animation arrow you can pull it up go to the properties and smooth start I'm smooth and I'm making it one second and it's medium so if you play it will show something like this Press Ctrl D, duplicate it, go to Format Properties, I'm just going to change the color. Maybe orange or any color which you like to have it. You can make it more transparent and just turn it, bend it like this. And add one more by pressing Ctrl D. As usual, I'm just going to change the color. I'm just using some a light purple color. And this also you just bring it here and just you can tilt it. You can tilt according to your own requirement if you see my uh, the title, the main presentation, I just put in different ways. I'm just going to send this back. I'm going to keep the purple, the one which we have created first on the top. The others, I'm just going to make it at the bottom, at the back side. Go to animation, enable the animation pane and select the second and third animation and make it with previous. Let's see how it works. 
all all is going together so i'm just going to give some uh, a delay maybe delay of 2.2 seconds maybe this is 0.1 second or 0.2 whatever yes now select all this right triangles press ctrl d and again i'm just going to turn to the other side you can just say rotate horizontal and rotate vertical again and bring so this also i'm just going to make it all removing this uh, animation then we'll add the animation later on and you can put it here it's quite confusing so what we can do is we can just whatever the animation the, the right triangles which we created we can hide it for the time being so let's see if it's it's difficult to work like this so to do that you go to home select and go to selection pane and you can see this uh, three four and five i can just hide it for the time being so that it gives me a room to do some animation here so i'm just going to do the same animation again don't cover the slide for this purpose you just cover the half slides only and then give the animation the same animation what we have given earlier scroll it down and under motion path you can select line The others also I'm just going to uh, hide it for time being. Then unhide the next one and again give the animation. And this is for the last one. And unhide the, the first one as well. And this animation also should be with previous. Let's play. So I'm going to send this the one which we created later on. I can just send it to back. Send to back, yes. Yeah, you can see the smooth animation now. Now I'm going to give some, uh, add some text here and we'll add some animation to that one. Type your title here for the presentation. You cannot see it so just make it to 70% our normal slight percentage here yeah. increase the size according to your requirement and change the font if you like to And I'm going to give some color effect, the same color effect, the purple. 
go to text fill and select gradient and say more gradients and here you can select the gradient fill and then you can change the color whatever color you like to have I'm going to give the same color which I've selected for my main object and you can align it on the center now let's give some animation under add entrance effect say basic zoom and make it with previous maybe I'm going to give the delay of 50.5 seconds and no need of changing any properties but the name is coming very soon so I'm just going to delay it further maybe one second I think this is okay but uh, you can change it maybe 120 or 110 will be better I believe let's see with 120 you know it's getting delay maybe 110 could be better Yeah, this is perfect. That's it from me friends. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe PowerPoint University. See you soon with more interesting stuff. Till then, goodbye.